Well, boy, a pretty spectacular finish, first UFC finish. I mean, give, give an idea of the, the, the feel right now. I feel pretty good. I've had, you know, my first UFC fight, first win, first bonus, and now my first finish. So I'm, I'm on top of the world right now. No question. You look, I don't know, like, uh, you, you seem kind of relaxed out there tonight. I mean, it, it, did it feel different than, than the other fights in any way? I'm just getting more comfortable in the cage. You know, it's my third time, so, you know, I just felt comfortable in there. I, you know, believed in my training camp this whole time. I just, I felt good coming out there, and, uh, and it showed. You teased the, the knee a couple of times along the way. I mean, did you have an idea that the flying knee was going to be a part of, of your offense tonight? Absolutely, yeah. I was picturing him going and shooting and me throwing the knee, um, but he didn't take any shots, I think, because I kind of flashed him a little bit. Uh, so he didn't take any shots, so, and he stayed stationary at that time. Is it different at all when you when you're facing an undefeated guy like that? I mean, does it is it any kind of a different emotion or, or thought when you go in there? No, I, I don't care about records. Um, I see people with perfect records get beat up all the time, so uh, it, it didn't mean anything to me. Uh, just, Where does this level of calmness come? Because like you were the octagon ring general the whole time, you kind of was like the matador had him coming at you, like it was just a matter of time you were going to set him up. Uh, just you know, years of training. I think this is like. Eighth or ninth year. I mean, I've been an amateur for a while, and then I turned pro like three years ago. So I think it's just you know, just being in there, especially it being my third time in the cage uh, with some good competition. Um, so I'm comfortable. Well, a highlight win like this does this, this add to your swag, add to your confidence. It, it definitely does. I uh, and I would be lying if it didn't. You know, I, you know, I, I finished someone in the UFC, and that's always been a dream of mine. And so for it to happen, I know the work that I'm putting in is working, and I'm going to continue. So worth fifty thousand dollars? Hopefully, we still got a few more fights. Some good champions on the card. Um, so uh, I'll be uh, going fight by fight, seeing how, <laughs> see how they go. Nice. What do you, What do you want to do next? I mean, obviously, you got a couple wins in a row. I mean, they're, they're laying out the schedule. What, what, what makes sense for you next? Uh, I want to fight in Vegas. That's That's all it is. I want to fight in Vegas. It's my home state, uh, Nevada. Uh, either Vegas or hopefully a UFC Reno. I mean, I don't think the UFC's ever been to Reno, no. so uh, I think that'd be a pretty cool one. How's the uh, progress going as far as like, Google results, search results? Do you admire it once you said that it pops All of the, from Mexico? Uh, I, I think it's still a bit more popular than me, but hopefully after tonight, my name comes Making up first. Progress, good. Back, back to the flying knee, is that something you saw like in film leading up that that would be an opening for you? Yeah, the flying knee and a couple other things. Um, the flying knee was just the flashy one, and uh, the ones that, if I felt good and explosive, to use that one. You know, you went from making your debut just last year to now two fights in a row, back-to-back -back wins. And, and is there anything specific you attribute to in your training regimen that you know, kind of helped you bounce back and get on a nice roll here in the UFC? Uh, training full-time. So after my first fight, I quit my full-time job and I've just been training full-time for a whole year. And uh, it's showing uh, the, the work that I put in, uh, especially in the morning. So that's when I, when I did work. So a performance like tonight, does that validate that move? Like... I'm in the right career. Absolutely, yeah. It, you know, I worked hard, you know, with my job and training, and now I get to pull, put that, you know, all that effort into just training. How quick you want to come back into the cage? Uh, whenever they can have. Them. Like I said, if there's a Vegas card coming up pretty soon, I know I keep saying that. Uh, I just want to want to fight in Vegas. There's one in a month. Could you make it that quick if need be? Maybe a month, March seventh. Yeah. Possibly. I have a, uh, someone might be fighting on that card. Uh, so what was your job that you had? What was your full-time job? I worked for an auto glass company. So I was out in the Phoenix sun, uh, outside, uh, 120 degrees, putting in windshields, getting done with that, going to uh, team practice, and uh, I made it always the UFC doing that. Are you going to go by in that next week? So did you see me? Did you see me? Oh, no. I stopped by there every once in a while. I love, love it. So it's pretty cool. Oh, they'll hit you up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's it to uh, you know, like that? That extra stress, were you, were you getting more sleep? You know, were you able to, I guess, focus more? You know, when you were actually were training? Well, the thing is, I quit my job, but then my baby was born. So, <laughs> so, so no. Uh, no. So, uh, I mean, she's getting older now, so she's letting me sleep and everything. And she comes to practice with me and everything. So, uh, we just got a rhythm going, we're going to keep it going. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Awesome.